You're listening to Curious and Interesting, a two-minute podcast on what's new and intriguing in the world of advertising research. I'm Dr. Barbara Phillips, editor of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising. Consumers increasingly demand healthy food choices and ask brands to commit to promoting healthy lifestyles. Some fast food brands, such as Pita Pit and Panera Bread, have improved their brand image and increased sales by advertising healthy choices, while other fast food brands, such as Chipotle and McDonald's, have not been so successful. Kim and Kim wondered if a poor match between fast food brands that are considered inherently unhealthy and the promotion of healthy eating led to these negative consumer reactions. And if the fit between a brand's image and health is poor, what can these brands do? The researchers asked consumers to select two fast food brands. Subway was considered a high fit for healthy eating, and KFC was considered a low fit. As expected, when each brand promoted its products as part of a healthy diet, consumers liked the Subway ad and brand more than KFC's ad and brand. So what's KFC to do? The researchers also tested the difference between brand-focused messages, showing the fast food as part of a healthy lifestyle, and health issue-focused messages, showing people jogging and saying the brand supports a healthy lifestyle. The researchers found KFC's ad and brand were liked more when they advertised a healthy lifestyle, but not their products. For Subway, there was no difference in liking based on the type of ad. In conclusion, fast food brands that are perceived as healthier can continue to promote healthy eating by featuring their products or a healthy lifestyle. Brands that have a poor image fit with healthy eating will find more success by promoting a healthy lifestyle without featuring specific products. Consumers like the message of a healthy lifestyle and are not reminded of the unhealthy product choices available at their favorite fast food restaurant. For more information, this research paper was published in the 2020 issue of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising.